Withdrawing venous blood, phlebotomy. Check physician's order for tests to be obtained. Wash hands. Obtain plastic adapter, double-ended needle, and appropriate colored vacuum tubes with patient identification labels. Explain procedure to client. Don clean gloves. Screw double-ended needle into plastic adapter with shorter needle facing plastic adapter. Place extremity straight and in dependent position if possible. Place absorbent pad or towel under arm. Place equipment close to work area. Place a tourniquet four to six inches above the site selected. The antecubital fossa is most commonly used. Tighten the tourniquet and have client open and close fist. Cleanse the site with alcohol or antimicrobial wipe, starting at the vein site and moving in a circular motion about two inches away from the vein. Let site dry. With needle affixed to the vacutainer, hold skin taut with non-dominant hand. Perform a venipuncture with bevel of needle pointed up at a 30 degree angle. Lower needle slightly towards skin after needle enters vein and stabilize with non-dominant hand. Insert blood collection tube while holding plastic adapter steady. Press vacuum tube firmly into short needle so that it pierces top of tube. If you have entered the vein correctly, blood will now spurt quickly into the tube. When filled to desired level, release tube and set it aside. Attach another tube to vacutainer or prepare to remove needle. When last tube is inserted, release tourniquet. When last tube is filled, remove it and set it aside. Place sponge above needle site and remove needle. Apply gentle pressure to site. Do not apply pressure until needle has been removed. Hold sponge on site for two to three minutes or longer if client is receiving anticoagulant therapy. Apply adhesive or gauze bandage if necessary. Dispose of needle in Sharps container. If tube contains an additive, gently invert to mix. Remove gloves and wash hands. Complete laboratory slip and take specimen to designated area.